You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about, of all things, OJ Simpson has called out LeBron James for not waiting on facts involving stabbing people. I can't believe I'm not making this up, but I'm not making this up. As we know, yesterday, LeBron James proved what I have been saying for months and months and months, that he is a race-baiting, bigoted moron that, let's be honest, has become dangerous. I've said months and months ago, LeBron James was dangerous. His mouth was dangerous. Remember last year when LeBron James come out and said, in this country, in this country, black people are being hunted by the police. Now, look, as smart American patriots, LeBron James doesn't have influence over us. But over dangerous morons that are marching in the streets and looting Nikes and burning buildings down, the same ones that killed David Dorn, He's got great influence. LeBron James has 50 million followers on his Twitter page. Yesterday, he essentially doxed the police that saved the life of a young black woman for crying out loud that was being attacked with a knife. He tweets out a picture of the policeman. You can't get much more irresponsible than that. Of course, LeBron James deleted the tweet like a punk. You might as well own it. You owned it. It's the internet. It's not going away, LeBron. And we damn sure are not letting you forget it on this channel. I'm sure Sports Wars and OutKick won't either. Last year, after he made those comments involving black people are being hunted in America, it wasn't very long after that that in L.A., Two L.A. County deputies got shot. And I said on this very channel, LeBron James partially deserves responsibility for that having been been done to those those deputies. You can't say black people are honey, uh, getting hunted in America by the cops and then something like that happens in L.A. County and expect you don't have some ownership of it. The National Fraternal Order of Police basically come out and said today, LeBron James, you are an irresponsible fuckhole for not getting your facts straight involving this case before you run your mouth. And that's exactly what LeBron did. He runs his mouth about every false narrative known to man involving race. Except... The human rights violations in China, all of a sudden, you could hear a pin drop around that son of a bitch. Now, you know you have really jacked up when O.J. Simpson comes out and actually makes a video calling you out for not waiting for facts in a case. Very quickly, make sure you check out blackandwhitenetwork.com. Exclusive content over there. Myself and John Matrix make joint videos, exclusive live streams, and if you are a Silver member, you have the chance to participate in exclusive live streams with us on a panel, and we can talk about pretty much whatever you want to talk about. I can tell you right now, I am going no holds motherfucking barred on LeBron James later today. If you can't join and become a member right now, Drop a donation if you would like. We certainly appreciate it. As we try to get away from big tech, let's get to this article about O.J. Simpson. This is crazy. This is from OutKick. O.J. Simpson gives LeBron advice on talking about knives and murder. That's for YouTube. LeBron James has exposed himself as a dishonest, untrustworthy moron 
that even O.J. Simpson is crushing him with a straight face. Thursday, O.J. Simpson gave LeBron advice on talking about people getting stabbed and murdered. The former football player told the social justice race better to wait for facts before running online and dividing the country even more. You know what? I'm going to grab this video for you guys, and I'll play it now. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. Tough morning listening to all the criticism that LeBron Le uh, James is getting. Uh, I'm a fan of LeBron. I admire the work that he's done, how he's helped his community and how he's helped his friends uh, and how he's been fighting all of these social issues, especially that of systemic racism in the legal system and with the police departments around our country. But you can't fight every battle, you know? You can't. Uh, you got to pick your battles. I mean, it's a war that must be fought, but sometimes you need to take your time and be a little more patient before you comment on some of these um, uh, bad incidences that are happening with police departments. Uh, this one, uh, LeBron should have waited. Uh, I'm a little upset with most of the media because they showed us edited versions of what took place with the girl with the knife. They made it sound as if this was another police officer uh, overreacting and killing a young black American. Well, from what I saw when I saw the full tape, the police um, guy had no choice. He responded. We wish he could have pulled a taser. We wish he could have done it uh, in another way. But in that instance, if he hadn't done what he did, it appeared to me if another young American would have had her life taken uh, um, um, and hey, I can't fault what he did. I wish it was different, but I can't fault it. But LeBron, keep fighting the fight. I think we all got to be a little more patient. I'm against defunding the police. I think you just got to redirect some of those funds to better training and maybe dealing with more uh, um, psychological training. In any event, God bless. Wear your mask, get your shots. I'm just saying. Al Kick continues, when somebody is so dumb they allow OJ to make sense, it is time to delete the account. Al Kick also made a point to say the NBA has still not responded to their, con uh, their request for comment on the situation. Now, something I want to point out. If we were waking up today and LeBron James was a white NBA player, and he did what he did, and the cop happened to be black, let's be real. LeBron James would be waking up with no NBA sponsorship left whatsoever. He would lose all of it. Now, in this country, let's be honest. I'm hearing all about white privilege. What privilege is that, LeBron? that you seem to have as you want to preach uh, uh, out about the false narrative of oppression? Will you see any actual fallout from this? Does the NBA have any guts to actually suspend you? You are the biggest moron on the planet, the biggest idiot, the most dangerous idiot, when you literally have gotten called out by O.J. Simpson. By O.J. Simpson. I mean, at this point, we don't even know. You know what? LeBron James, outside of maybe O.J., is the worst idiot in the history of sports. The most dangerous idiot in the history of sports. Nobody has done more damage to his brand, to his league, I've said, get ready. He's going to get involved with squad politics. That's going to happen. I think he's going to do it after he retires. I'm calling it right now. And, of course, he will then become the biggest idiot in squad politics, even bigger than the AOC, and that is saying a lot. That is saying a lot. I have preached to you guys for months and months and months about LeBron James. We've listened to him. Do more damage, divide this country, preach for segregation to come back. As it's clear, 
He's only concerned with one race and one race only. And even in this case, he's only concerned about the well-being of the criminal. Does this surprise you, black and white sports fans? O.J. Simpson is now giving lectures and making sense to LeBron James. Good job, LeBron. Keep them coming, LeBron. Keep them coming. Keep lobbing them up, and we will keep knocking them out of the park. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.